Last August, Biden earned the contempt and disgust of the whole world as we saw those heart-wrenching images coming out of Afghanistan following his catastrophic surrender to the Taliban and botched withdrawal. Desperate Afghans clinging onto aircraft, falling to their deaths. Innocent families standing waist-deep in bloody sewer water, passports and visa applications in hand, pleading to be rescued. And who could forget the scene at Dover Air Force Base as flag-draped coffins carrying the bodies of 13 American service members were solemnly transferred to their final resting places as Biden impatiently checked his watch every few minutes. But soon the establishment media was eager to move on, just like their bosses in the Biden regime wanted them to, to help Biden save face and try to rescue his floundering domestic agenda. By October, you could barely find a mention of Afghanistan, the thousands of Americans and our allies trapped behind enemy lines, the barbarity of the newly installed Taliban regime, the continuing horror as the consequences of Biden's disastrous withdrawal play out. So the news turned to domestic concerns, Biden's domestic disasters. The inflation crisis he created, the supply chain crisis he created, of course the border crisis he created. But that doesn't mean the Afghanistan crisis just went away. In fact, in many ways, the real repercussions of the Biden regime's cruelty and incompetence were just beginning. And if there's one story that captures that better than any other, it's this utterly horrifying report, to their credit, produced by CNN. Here are the shocking details. The situation inside Afghanistan has now gotten so dire, some families have been forced to sell their own children just to buy food. Since the Taliban takeover two and a half months ago, any money or assistance has dried up. And with eight mouths to feed, Pawana's father is now doing the unthinkable. My father has sold me because we don't have bread, rice and flour. He has sold me to an old man. As he carries her only bag of belongings, she again resists. Digging her heels into the dirt. But it's futile. It was really hard to watch. Just unbelievable parents selling their daughters. There were multiple examples, all with direct first-hand testimony in that report. It's happening all over the country. Here's another example. A three-year-old sold for $550. This is what Biden has done. This is what he's done. This appalling man masquerading as a president. This vain, bumbling old fool who overruled everyone on the ground just because he wanted to make some sick speech on the anniversary of 9-11 about ending the war. Well, he didn't end the war. He restarted it as the very people who attacked us on 9-11 literally take over the Afghan interior ministry. And the country once again becomes a safe haven for terrorists. And in the process of pushing through his calamitous scheme, the most humiliating foreign policy fiasco in American history, Biden has created in Afghanistan a humanitarian crisis of vast proportions. A new report projects that over the course of the next year, virtually the entire country will be engulfed in universal abject poverty. Meanwhile, there are still US citizens trapped in Afghanistan, green card holders, their families, who the State Department shamefully still refuses to rescue. And the Taliban, they horse around on carnival rides and parade the billions of dollars worth of military equipment Biden left behind while their fellow countrymen suffer and starve. Yes, while parents are forced to sell their children for food. Parents selling their children. That's what Biden has done. The most unimaginable cruelty and suffering caused by Biden. Was that what he meant by restoring the soul of the nation? American policy causing child slavery? It is truly despicable. He, Biden, is truly despicable. He will never, ever live this down. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.